Hey guys and we're back today with another tutorial and today we're going to have a bit of fun with time. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a timer on the screen that counts down. Um, it will also count up if you decide to change the direction. So first thing we're going to need is a label or it might even be the second thing we need. Um, and we want this to be called countdown time label and you guys can see where I'm going with this we are going to set the thing to zero 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 and we're going to change the font size so that it looks bigger from that to 28 or oh, maybe more than that 34 40 yeah 40 will do um, so what we will do is we'll put two zeros in each one of these Like so, I'm going to stick it in the middle, and then I'm going to save this. Um, I'm going to make a new folder in here because I haven't got the removable drive I usually stick things on. Um, so we're going to put countdown count in here, and um, we're not going to bother naming the forms. It's not really much of a point in it. Um, this is a very simple um, project just thought it'd be a bit of fun. Right, so now we need three edit boxes. Um, so we need one here, or alternatively you can just set uh, the minutes, times, uh, the minutes, the hours and the seconds differently. Um, so that's what these boxes are going to be for, and we need one button. So the top one is going to be our hours, and therefore we have to change the name of the box to hours edit why you'd want this counting down for hours I'm unsure but um, you might want it to run something after X amount of hours or I'm sure you guys will come up with something to use it for so this one's going to be our minutes so we're just going to put mins just to make it look right and uh, we need another label for the seconds so what's again and now we need to change these names Right, so we're going to go through and we're going to put a default value in each one of these because we don't want to start it and it say that this string cannot be turned into an integer or it turns it into a really long integer um, because we don't want that either. Because that would be just as bad. Right, so now we've got them, we need one button. Here's a button. And this is going to be our start button slash stop button. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this and ignore this. I was looking at doing something else today. And the first thing we're going to do is we need to propagate some variables really. So we're going to add a var to our thing and we want one called mins, uh, we want one called hours, and we want one called seconds. And they're all going to be integers. And... No, it's because I put an S on the end. So we're now going to propagate our field. So hours first is going to become hours edit dot text. And I know this is an integer, so we're going to do an int to string. No, we're going to do a string to int of the text inside. And we're going to do this for all of them. So min becomes string to int min edit dot text and then second 
uh, become string to int our seconds um, edit dot text but I don't think there's an S in it there isn't so now what we're going to do is we are going to do a pretty much a loop so we're going to do while hours or hour is greater than zero no nope. greater or equal to zero It's greater or equal to zero, do begin. Or actually, we're just going to do greater than negative one. So it's greater than negative one if it's zero, it will keep going until it runs out of hours. What we want to do is we need to do um, hours are equal to hours take one or hour, take one. And then what we need to do is put another while in here. And you guessed it, we're going to do minutes. So min is equal to greater than negative one. Do begin. So we're going to put a loop inside of a loop inside of a loop, which isn't the most advisable. There is easier ways of doing this. Um, is equal to minute, take one. And then the last one is while seconds is greater than negative one, do begin. Right, so that is our basic looping function. And I'm pretty sure this is probably going to crash the client without it being threaded, but we'll give it a go. Um, so each time this loops, it's going to set something in motion. So what we need to do is... Um, sleep is done in milliseconds, so a thousand milliseconds is a second. And then what we need to do is we need to update our minute time and strings. So min's string, hour string, second string, they're all strings. And what we're going to do is every time we take one away, so we're going to do our uh, hours string is equal to hours or hour, um, but we're going to need to turn this back into a string. So string to uh, into string like so. And then pretty much we need to do the same after minutes, so before minutes, no. Yeah, we want this afterwards. Like so. And then we want the same here, so minutes string is equal to int to string min. And then lastly, we need to do the seconds one. So, first of all, we need to add the seconds are equal to seconds take one. And then we need to do the seconds string is equal to int to string second. Like so. So now our string will go down as our number goes down. So we can delete this space because we're going to sleep for one second. We're going to take a second away. We're going to change the second on the time. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hmm. So the easiest way to do this is to create another function function that gets called to update the actually what we'll do is we just write it here so our count down 
the account time label is equal to hours or hours plus the delimiter we're using we put space in between it and then mins and then or with these need to have string at one end and then once again our delimiter and then uh, seconds string like so all right so we need to put an end on it and now or actually no we're going to do one more thing before we copy and paste this go town down time label dot update and we're also going to add the dot string i've forgotten or the dot caption yeah i've forgotten so we need to put an end on this end as well and then we're ready to cause havoc once again guys i don't often code these before recording them so um, I'm baffled at about what this is about to do so we'll give it a go so we're going to start our little timer up or our countdown and we're going to remove this because I was looking at doing another project that's probably going to come next week it requires a bit more in-depth um, research before continuing that one and so if we set this for five minutes and 10 seconds we'll see what happens Ooh, we get nothing in the other forms that's peculiar but it is going down Ooh. hmm now that was peculiar right so it seems like we need to change a few things so first of all we need to propagate all these labels because clearly that didn't work so one here uh, minutes hours above it and seconds above that and now let's see what happens so as you guys can see it does coding isn't isn't a one and done situation um it does need some tampering with and you know right so we got our six minutes we got our 12 seconds so hopefully this time it continues counting down no, we just get negative one for everything. Hmm. That is peculiar. Alright, so let's put a halt, some halts in and see exactly what's happening in the code. Um, one and Let's go for eight, eight seconds. And that way we have some idea of... So we get our first halt. The second value is set to seven, so it's already lost one. Two, three, four, five. And we have our seven. So we dump down to minutes, and minutes currently equals one. And now minutes equals zero, which is right. Ah, we forgot to increase. Right, I figured out what's gone wrong. So, when we take away one minute, we need to add seconds, which is where I've forgotten. So seconds is then equal to 60. So we get our 60 seconds back. And every time we lose an hour, we need to set the minutes to 60. 
giving us our time back. See, kids, it's just, you guys, it's just not that, not that difficult once you figure out where you've gone wrong. So one minute, we'll go for five seconds. So we get our one minute. And we return to our seconds. And right now, if I take these out, you can do that in the middle of the code and bring the page back up. Okay, the page is not going to come back up. We stop the debug run and we start again. And we put one minute in here. Put four seconds in there. Three, two, one. And it counts down again. So there you have it, guys. It it does need a bit of tinkering with, and it needs the other zero to be set. And um, it's all things you could do if you had a few moments. Um, you could take the spaces out; it'd probably look a bit better. But guys, um, we are well over our ten minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I had good fun coding it whilst I was sitting here. Uh, leave your comments in the description. Uh, I am out of ideas. If you guys have an idea you'd like to see, please put it in the comment section. Um, and until Sunday, I will see you later. Hey guys, these are two videos you might enjoy. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button in the middle here and join the club.